Good morning and welcome to the Daily Office. And thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Monday, February 12th. It's the last week after the Epiphany, and week two in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 25. And John chapter 18, verse 15 through 18, and 25 through 27. And now join me please in singing the first verse of Psalm 100 by Isaac Watts. All people round the earth rejoice To God most high our sovereign King Serve God with cheerful heart and voice With all your tongues God's glory sing Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, to you, O Most High, I lift my soul. My God, I trust in you. Alleluia, Psalm 25. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, to you, O Most High, I lift my soul. My God, I trust in you. Let me not be ashamed, and do not let my enemies triumph over me. Let none that wait on you be disappointed, but only they which transgress without cause. Show me your ways, O Most High. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are my salvation, and on you I wait all the day. Remember your tender mercies and your loving kindnesses, for they are everlasting. Forget the sins of my youth, and my transgressions. In your love remember me for your goodness' sake. You are good and upright. You show sinners the path. You guide the humble in judgment, and you teach the poor your way. Your paths are mercy and truth to such as keep your covenant decrees. For your name's sake pardon my iniquity, for it is great. Those who fear you shall be taught the path they should choose. They shall dwell in happiness, and their children shall inherit the earth. Your secret is with them that fear you, and they will see your covenant. My eyes are always on you. You pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and have mercy, for I am desolate and afflicted. The anguish of my heart is increased. Bring me out of my distresses. Look upon my affliction and my pain and forgive all my sins. Consider how many are my enemies, and how violently they hate me. Keep my soul and deliver me. Do not disappoint me, for I put my trust in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I hope in you. Redeem Israel, O God, from all its troubles. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to you, O Most High, I lift my soul. My God, I trust in you. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 18, beginning at verse 15. Simon Peter and another disciple followed Jesus. Since that disciple was known to the high priest, he went with Jesus into the courtyard of the high priest. But Peter was standing outside the gate. And so the other disciple, who was known to the high priest, went out, spoke to the woman who guarded the gate, and brought Peter in. The woman said to Peter, You are not also one of this man's disciples, are you? And Peter said, I am not. Now the slaves and the police had made a charcoal fire because it was cold and they were standing around it and warming themselves. Peter also was standing with them and warmed himself. Now Simon Peter was standing and warming himself and they asked him, You are not also one of the disciples, are you? He denied it and said, I am not. One of the slaves of the high priest, a relative of the man whose ear Peter had cut off, asked, did I not see you in the garden with him? 
And again Peter denied it, and at that moment the cock crowed. Here ends the lesson. Save your people, and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We turn to you, O God, and we place our trust in you. Lead us along your paths and teach us your ways. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah! This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia! And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.